God shows what happens when we accept Lord Jesus as our personal savior. Once you receive Lord Jesus as your personal savior, you become a new person. You become a new creation. That's what God says in the book of 2 Corinthians chapter 5 verse 17. God says like this, if one is in Christ, he is a new creation. We become totally new. Our inner man, inner man becomes new. And he says that the world has passed away. Behold, all have become new. When? When we choose to follow Jesus as our personal savior. Our words, our deeds, our thoughts, our intents, our preference, our taste, everything changes. Little by little, little by little, little by little, we too become like Jesus. See, the man of God says in the book of Philippians chapter 1 verse 21. Paul says like this, to me, to live is Christ, to die is gain. He says that to me, to live is Christ. He says that Christ is my everything. Jesus is my everything. He is my life. And again, he continues to say, death is my gain. My brother, my sister, my friend, Death is the most common thing which scares almost everyone upon the face of the earth. People are so much scared to die because they do not know what is going to happen after death. They think that death is the end of their existence. That's what they think. That is not true. That is not true. Death is nothing but transition into eternity. That is the truth. And what happens after we die? We slip into eternity. Death is nothing but transition into eternity. That's all. That's all. We will be moving away from this physical realm into spiritual realm. That's it. And after that, no more death. We will be living forever and ever and ever and ever with Jesus if we choose to follow this Jesus whom I am preaching as your Lord and Savior too. If not, you will have no other choice but to end up in hell and again eternal death. You got it? My brother, my sister, my friend, wake up. Receiving Jesus will remove the fear of death from your system. You will be rather waiting to die in Christ. You can enjoy the peace, you can enjoy the joy, you can enjoy the hope when you receive Jesus. That is the greatest and basic difference between the saved folks who follow Jesus and the rest. That is the difference. For a child of God, for a man of God, for a daughter of God, for a son of God, death is nothing but a dream come true kind of situation. You see, that's what we read in 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 8. Paul says, We are confident and willing rather to be absent from the body and to be present with the Lord. You see, physical death is nothing but you get absent to your physical body. That's it. You will be absent in your physical body 
and again you will be present with Lord Jesus when you choose to follow Jesus as your Savior too. My brother, my sister, my friend, we all feel bad to lose any of our loved ones, right? We all have that feeling to lose our parents, to lose our siblings, to lose our friends, to lose our children. We all are scared and we all find it very painful, it is very true, to say goodbye to someone on this earth. But on the other hand, you know what happens? In the book of Psalm 116 verse 15, God makes it very clear. God says like this, Precious in the sight of the Lord is the death of his saints. Precious in the sight of the Lord is the death of his saints. You see, on the other hand, God is eagerly waiting to collect us. You see, what a wonderful thing that is. Think about it. We are very much scared and we are not very happy to die. Not knowing that, on the other hand, our Abba Father is waiting to receive us. We will be united with Jesus the moment we die in case if we are in Christ. That is the good news, my brother. That is the good news, my sister, my friend. Christianity is nothing but a relationship with God. It's not a religion. It's a relationship with God. The moment you choose to follow Jesus, you become a new creature. Your thoughts, your intents, your words, your deeds, your behavior, your lifestyle, everything will change a little by little, little by little, little by little. You will become like Jesus eventually, inwardly. That is God's intent. That's God's will for us. And again, the day, the moment you die, you will be, you too will be united with Jesus. And you will continue to live forever and ever and ever without tears, without pains, without sorrows, and without death. What a wonderful thing that would be. That's what we read in Revelation chapter 21 verse 4. My brother, my sister, my friend, want to get rid of fear of death? I tell you, I challenge you, I encourage you, strongly encourage you to choose to follow Jesus. Yes, receive him as your personal savior today, now, so that you too can become a new creature. You too can be waiting to be united with Jesus. And no more fear of death. You too can kill your fear of death the moment you become a child of God. You become a follower of Jesus. My brother, my sister, my friend, this is the good news. There is no more death. No more death when you truly follow Jesus. That is the gospel. That is the good news. That is the hope. And it is open for everyone. God will never ever force you. It's a choice. It is a choice. The moment you make that wonderful, priceless choice to choose Jesus, you too can live forever and ever and ever with God himself in heaven, without tears, without pain, without sorrows, without death. My brother, my sister, my friend, God loves you. Jesus loves you. I love you. Until we meet again, may God continue to be with you as well. Amen. Hallelujah.